Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be looking at the Lego ideas. It's the voting is still open on for the Lord of the Rings Prancing Pony. So after you're done watching this video, go over and just vote for it so we can get this set in real life. But before we go any further, let me just say if you like this video or any other video on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be getting into this Lego Ideas Prancing Pony after the intro coming in now. Now let's get on to the next uh, Lego Ideas topic I wanted to talk about today. And that is the Prancing Pony. Um, I found this. It's under review through Lego Ideas while still getting the votes necessary. But if I'm honest, I would much rather have this than the Sanderson Sisters house. Well, yes. Um, this one's not even got enough votes it yet. doesn't have enough votes so go to lego ideas and you know vote for the prancing pony um i'll put a link down in the description but yeah i think that this is really something i'm very interested in and you see how it opens up and it could be like four houses on the street yeah if, it, if you put it like that mm-hmm I mean, and, I mean, look at that. that. That looks nice. That does look nice. And I like how they can curve it around because they're, you know, they don't have to have it straight across. It gives it more depth, I think. Yeah. To have it curved. Yeah, because that's something you were going for in our medieval layout. Yeah. Is, is add in some dimensions like that so it's not so just a square, you know, houses in a row. Mm -hmm. Or just one line. And you can see that the roof comes off like that. But again, things like that, if if it does get selected and Lego decides to make it, it's going it to be different than... It depends on what they choose. Yeah, that they change everything pretty heavily. So when it comes to the, some of the finer details of these Lego idea submissions, I tend to not uh, read too much into it because it's not even liable to change. It's going to change. Yeah. But the actual look of these buildings, I think, is fantastic. And they're beautiful. Yeah. Like I've already, I, I already told Jen that if they, if this was to get made, I would want two of them for sure, because we could put one of these in our medieval layout, and then. Um, we're going to be talking about a little bit later on the show, but uh, we are working on a full on the Lord of the Rings section has changed spots and we'll get down to it later. And Chatty Cat is actually taking the bull by the horns there. Yeah, she needs to build those. So, <laughs> so if they release this, we would need a prancing pony in our Lord of the Rings section. And these this house is just so pretty that I could not put it in our medieval section as well. Right. It belongs there. Yeah. I like the little prancing pony flag. That was in that last picture. Yeah. It's cool. But again, I don't like to get too much into some of these finer details because again, it will change. I've been down this road through Lego ideas <laughs> enough. <laughs> To know. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. It was nothing like the original submission. I mean, it was a completely different set. They just said, oh, you want a, a Lego Pirate set? Well, we'll figure that out for you. Yeah. And they still call it Lego Ideas, which, I mean, it was Lego's idea. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the Prancing Pony. Uh, what do you guys think? Would you be interested? So how many does they have? 
Six, it's over 6,000 uh, supporters. It needs to get to 10,000. And to and this is definitely one that I think most of my viewers here would probably be at least a little interested in. So come on, let's uh, try to make it happen for the Keep old uh, Prancing Pony because that, that would be a nice addition to anybody's medieval layout. Yes, I agree. Olandor says, what is Lord of the Ring? Oh, come on, Olandor. If you call yourself a medieval fan and you say, what is Lord of the Ring? Retro Arcade Music Man says, even the fireplace is cool, isn't it? Very cool. King says, I need it. <laughs> Chatty I'm Cat says, same. <laughs> Lego Bears would not be getting it. Oh. Brick Hive is here. Hello, Brick Hive. How are you today, sir? Hello. He says, definitely a really wonderful set. I would buy it. Yeah, that's definitely like a day one uh, kind of purchase. I wish. Opinion. Yeah. I hope it gets through. Oh, no. I'm breaking stuff. Oh, no. Uh, oh. says, Prancing Pony. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Set is spectacular. Yes, it is. Uh, Todd asks, isn't Lego doing more Lord of the Rings sets? And not that I'm aware as of right now, I would love it. but the thing is that there is the new show coming on Amazon Prime. Um, it is steeped in a little bit of controversy, so I don't know how well it's going to do. But I did read that they've already signed up for five seasons, and it is going to be the most expensive television show ever made. Wow. So Amazon Prime has gone all, all in, in with it. <laughs> and so if that's the case, I mean, the possibility of there being new Lego Lord of the Rings sets is rather high, in my opinion. But we haven't seen anything other than rumors, you know, uh, of the nameless fear. You know, what does is, what is Gandalf say? He's got some kind of line like that. <laughs> I don't know. Chatty? Mm -hmm. She might know. Mm -hmm. I don't know the line. King says boycott. It's trash. Oh, really? Yeah, that show is not canon in my opinion. Oh. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I mean, <laughs> there are a lot of questionable things that are going on with that show. Um, but I will say this, and it holds true for, you know, Star Wars as well, is that I'm more forgiving when you keep the legacy characters and the overall story cohesive. That's why a lot of people were down on Obi-Wan Kenobi, but I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good show. And I thought that they, they did a good job. Sorry, I need a brick separator. With <laughs> keeping the integrity of the legacy characters, you know, and that as long as it does that, like, so for this, it'd be Galadriel, Gandalf, Saruman, Sauron, you know, I know, you know, they're bringing him in as well. Um, as long as they remain consistent with the existing films, I'm okay with that. Because even the even the the Peter Jackson films are not consistent with the books, and so there becomes the debate on, on what's canon. We've got the book canon, which is the definitive source, but even even Peter Jackson's films deviate from those, and so you have already a couple of different versions of canon with it. I'll give it a whirl. King says, you know, they're adding girl orcs. Oh uh, yeah, that's. Uh, that's definitely something that the the new show will have aspects like that in it. And that's what I, <laughs> we're going to have to just accept that and hope they don't mess up the legacy characters. Yeah. I mean, orcs are born in the good, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, and that's, that's one possible thing they could be messing up on because you had, I mean, Saruman, well, that's your Kai. Because he tells world. he tells exactly you know how they're made in the Fellowship of the Ring, and so yeah, it's got it's got to be it's got to be consistent with what's there. 
That is what will get you in trouble. The non-consistency or ruining characters. <laughs> King says they are elves and men twisted and deformed into orcs. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, they're definitely going to be riding the line on what's acceptable. And, 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 and the Tolkien fan base is every bit as rabid, you know, if not even more so than even Star Wars and stuff. And the reason why is because of the books. You know, people demand what Tolkien wrote. And so even deviating from that, you're going to offend certain ass, uh, people in the community. And so... And so if you deviate even more from what the films did, then, yeah, you run the risk of really ticking <laughs> she's, off some people. some people. Yeah. Off. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we got merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.